everyone it's me Marie here and I'm back again and for this week's video if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail and title I'm filming a recommendation video and actually in all honesty I don't really know what I'm going to call this video um it was going to be like falling in love with a famous person like book recommendations but I don't know if that's too long uh but either way it's essentially the whole recommendation video is falling in love with a famous person <laughs> um as book recs essentially um that is what it is so i'll just get into it i think i have six or seven books here um and yeah i'll just get into it so the first book is the devil in the deep blue sea by elizabeth o'rourke um and this one is actually the second book in the series but you don't have to read the first book to understand this book uh but you see some of the characters from the first book in this book essentially um and this one follows drew and she's a famous singer and basically she agrees to go on a holiday with her ex-boyfriend and his family um and so she goes on the holiday but essentially her ex-boyfriend gets caught up in another situation so he can't make it on the holiday now so she's just on holiday with her ex-boyfriend's family essentially um and she is with her ex-boyfriend's brother Josh and he's a really like sarcastic doctor he really isn't too into Drew he doesn't really like it or like her rather sorry um so the story sort of unfolds with them getting closer over the holiday and after the holiday they get closer etc etc um it's sort of like a falling in love on holiday sort of idea the whole book isn't based on the holiday though so don't worry um and he is really sarcastic really witty um there's so many good like wishy banter between the two it's like an enemies to lovers slow burn um it is very slow burn it's like forbidden love almost too because they probably really shouldn't be together because you know that's her ex-boyfriend's brother that isn't really like cool <laughs> it's not really great to do that uh but um and it's on kindle unlimited i'm about 80 or 90 percent sure i really, really like um a lot of books that Elizabeth O'Rourke has written. I've only read a few, I haven't read loads, but I've only read this series actually, maybe I should read more, but um, I really enjoyed the books that I've read by Elizabeth O'Rourke. They're so, like, all of them are really great banter-wise, um, but this one is very good. Um, so if you want like a sarcastic doctor um, and a pop star um, sort of romance trope, he like flies all the way around the world to get her brioche I just it was a really good book I just really enjoyed it and I feel like I can't not recommend it in this list um but again you don't have to read the other books to understand this book um so if you're just in the mood for a celebrity book then you can read this one and the next book that I want to recommend is Rush by Brianna Hale and this one I also really enjoyed I'm pretty sure this is on Kindle Unlimited I'm about like 80% sure it's on Kindle Unlimited uh, but like don't quote me on that basically um I really enjoyed this one it's the only book I think that I've read by Brianna Hale, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, and this one follows Dre, and she is like down on her luck. She is a choreographer, but she's sort of a few bad things have happened in the past, so she's sort of like not really doing dancing, choreographing really anymore. Um, and essentially, Rush, who is like a famous rock star, he asks her, he like sees one of her choreographed pieces and he asked her to choreograph his new music video um and she's sort of like reluctant to do it but then she agrees and the most of the book sort of takes place of them choreographing this music video in this really big house um essentially uh i really liked it it's a bit of like push and pull um and a lot of the main focus is doing the music video so i feel like there was like a slip of more thing there too it wasn't just all about love it was also about them doing the music video um this one is an age gap because he's a bit older than her i can't remember how old in all honesty and it was very very smarty but it was very very good so i really enjoyed it um i think this is on kindle limited but i think i own a copy of it instead of just having it on kindle limited essentially basically um but I would definitely recommend this one if you want like an age gap. Falling in love with a famous person, rock star. I'm really sorry if all, all these are like singers. I didn't intend for it to be that way, but I realised I don't really read many books with actors actually maybe. So sorry about that, but this is just what I've got. So um, <laughs> anyway, 
actually that's a lie i've got two uh directors anyway the next one is unexpected by elizabeth atten and this is the only book i think this author has out i think i might be wrong um this is also on kindle limited too so if any of you have kindle limited and you want to read it um i can't really say too much about this one because I will spoil so much, but it's such a good book. It basically follows a woman called Ava and she's like going through a terrible, terrible time. She really has no money. She's about to be homeless. Um, she's about to lose her job. But like everything is going tits up for Ava. She's going through an incredibly hard time. And essentially one night after work, she goes um, like for a drink, essentially at the club next door. She goes to a club and she meets a man called Wit and he is the lead singer or whatever in a band and basically they have like one night of passion and then they never really see each other again and then it's set a few months later and we sort of in those months we've seen Ava go from bad to worse like everything's going really badly for Ava and um she's trying to get her life sorted and then I can't really reveal too much in honesty something happens and they sort of get brought back into each other's lives um and it's a quite an emotional book there's a lot of twists and turns um I really liked it I didn't truly expect what was going to happen in there I feel like or maybe I'm just dumb but um I didn't really expect what's going to happen in there um this was really good it was super emotional um, and I can't tell you loads of the tropes, if I'm honest with you, uh, because I would spoil it then. So I don't want to do that. Um, but just know that this was a very, very good book. And I think it's the author's first book. I don't know why I think that. Maybe I'm wrong. And the next book, and I'm really sorry to do this, but it's a self-plug for my own book. Um, and I thought, why not? But the, the next book I would rec recommend is Portraits of Us by me, Road Lane. Um, and it's on Kindle Limited, so if you have Kindle Limited, you can read it on there. And essentially, it follows a woman called Olive, and she is basically a bit down on her luck. She wants to be a photographer, but nothing is going right or well enough. Um, and she basically goes on a night out with one of her friends, and through various sets of circumstances, she um, becomes a tour photographer for Liam Quinn, who is a famous singer. Um, and basically the book follows them going on the tour and slowly falling in love um it has a happy ever after it's a bit friends to lovers really because they are friendly enough i feel like you perceive things really differently to other people if that makes sense like i perceive the book really differently to what other people might perceive the book as if that makes sense or other books not just my own book other books too so um yeah anyway that's a bit relevant point to make but um Either way, it's falling in love with this person. It has happened ever after. There will be other books in the series at some point, not happening right now, if I'm honest, but um, at some point. So, yeah, it's not cliffhanger, so don't worry. If you'd like to read it, I would recommend it. I would like you to read it, so thanks a bunch. <laughs> um, and the next book is The Hot Mess and the Heartthrob by Pippa Grant. And this is the only book I've read by Pippa Grant, but I actually really enjoyed it, so I want to read more books by Pippa Grant. Um, I have one on my Kindle Limited that I just haven't read. So anyway, I'll try it. Um, and this one follows a single mum of three called Ingrid and she owns a bookshop and her kids are like rambunctious. She has a pet squirrel. There's a lot going on. She's just a bit of a mess. Um, and essentially in walks in, I don't think I said that correctly, but he's like a superstar um, singer, Levi. And he like is hiding in the bookshop um, to get away from like the paparazzi or people or whatever. And he hides in the bookshop and she sees him and he basically finds himself thinking about her a lot and like wanting to go back into the shop a lot. So um, yeah, he starts going around the shop. They slowly start falling in love. It's a really sweet book. It's funny. I find it quite funny um, because, like I said, the kids are really rambunctious, like little rat bags, and, like, they, um, they have a pet squirrel, and I don't know why they have the pet squirrel, but they just do. Um, it's also very quickly marketed as a standalone, but there's other books in the series. I think this is, like, the fourth book in the series. I didn't read any of the other books, um, but there are a lot of, like, external characters, and I was getting confused with a lot of, like, some of the external characters. Um so i don't think you definitely don't have to read the other books because i didn't and i understood this and i enjoyed it so um i don't really know but the external characters are a lot they're a bit much at points so um 
but you would have seen them in the other books but i just didn't read the other books so whatever but either way you can read it as sound i i think it might be on kindle unlimited i really can't remember because i only started adding to my kindle unlimited shelf at a certain point in this year and i was not doing that when i was reading these books so um sorry i can't remember if everything's on kindle unlimited <laughs> um so the next book and like basically the penultimate book is Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan. And I'm really sorry that this is like a really popular book and I've included it, but it's like one of my favourite books of the year. So I just figured why wouldn't I include it? And also she is an actor and I wanted it to be like, she's the famous one because I had one of a book that was like that, but um, I wanted it to be a bit more level, but he's also slightly semi well known, but she's definitely more famous than him. So like do one. And it basically follows um a woman called emma and she's an actress um and she's in like a game of thrones-esque sort of show has anybody has anybody been watching house of dragon very quickly as a tangent um i've been watching it don't don't say any spoilers because i'm not up to date with it so i've read like uh not read i've watched like six episodes i need to watch the other ones so no spoilers please but if you have read it i would like to know um anyway and this and she's basically like on a house um game of thrones house whatever sort of themed sort of t tv series and essentially she gets cut from the show um so she needs time to recuperate so she comes and she goes to a place called the rosemont estate and it's a bit of a place for like little lost souls so she goes there and the woman who owns it her grandson is also living there his name is lucian and he is an ex ice hockey player um, and he has retired because he has health issues, not because he's not good enough or whatever, he's old enough, whatever. Um, but he's a right grumpy git um, and he's not very nice and he's very like, he's so uninterested in, in in a lot of things and in her as well, especially. And basically he really like puts off wanting to like her, but I think she likes him. And it's just such a good book. Like I cannot describe it well enough to express how amazing it is. Um, there's so much witty banter in it that I like loved it so much. He like bakes her sweet treats. Um, yeah. And he just doesn't think that he's good enough because he gets these headaches and and he's and he's like this extra tired hockey player, he wants to be back in the ring and, and all this. He's just the rink, not ring, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a really, really great book. Um, like, yeah, he bakes her treats. I've written here, he bakes her treats, he's grumpy and he goes skinny dipping. So what more like, do you want? Um, I love the ones between the two. Yeah. I also bought it in a paperback because I loved it so much. Uh, so that is one of like my favourite books of the year. Definitely. Um, and the next book and the final book that I want to recommend is... Um, Idol by Kristen Callahan. So it's by the same author, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I read this like donkeys years ago. I can tell you like the general gist of the story, but I can't remember it all like really in detail uh, because I read it ages ago. Basically, I think the general gist is that a singer um, ends up drunk on somebody's front garden and she sort of takes him in. They sort of stay together for a bit and then he goes on, she goes on his world tour with him. I think that's the general gist. I'm not doing it any favors. But I just know that I love this book so much and I'm going to reread it, I decided. I was looking through the reviews of it because I was like, do I want to include it when I can't really describe it very well? Um, but I was looking through the reviews and I was like, oh, actually, and I've realised how much I like Kristen Callahan's writing because I've forgotten that I'd read this series by Kristen Callahan. Um, I never finished the series either. So I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to go back and reread it because I remember at the time I was like obsessed. So I'm going to go back and reread the whole. I think it's, I don't, I think it's called the VIP series. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, so I think I'm going to go back and like reread the VIP series, essentially. Um, I do remember liking it. I gave it five stars, but that really doesn't mean much from me, um, especially at that age, because I don't, I didn't really know how to use Kindle, um, uh, goodreads so i think i was just reviewing everything it's like five stars or if i really hated it then it'd be a one star but there was no nuance there was no nuance everything was either great or bad like there was no in between um so yeah that was it basically um that was the end of my recommendation video i hope you've enjoyed i hope there's been some new books that you don't know sorry that the last two were quite popular but i wanted to include them because i enjoyed them so who cares also, very quickly, I self-plug myself once in this video, but my other small self-plug is that um, I'm releasing a new book on the 10th of November. The link for it will be in 
my description so if you'd like to pre-order or add it to your goodreads or sign up for an arc i'd be like greatly greatly appreciative um yeah it's called the trade-off um it's the sports age gap marriage of convenience enemies to lovers sort of book i really like it my whole heart sort of went into it a bit like i i do really like the book i would like if other people would like the book too so i don't know but either way if that sounds interesting to you then i would love it if you could add it to your goodreads or pre-order or whatever so for arcs just any interest would be appreciative would be appreciated from me um but yeah that's it um thank you so much for watching we'll speak next week i'll do a video next week don't know about what but i'll do one um we'll talk soon and goodbye